a senior Syrian commander has blamed the U.S. for enabling a huge number of ISIS psychological oppressors to escape Syria as a component of a mystery bargain between the Pentagon and the Islamic State. General Talal Silo, the previous administrator in the Syrian Democratic Forces revealed to Reuters that the SDF removed busloads of ISIS radicals from Raqqa for three days in October. Rupfront.com reports. A security official in Turkey likewise gave a comparative record of ISIS warriors in Syria. After SDF asserted to effectively remove ISIS from Raqqa in October, General Silo gave himself over to Turkey, an adversary of Kurdish endeavors in northern Syria. Afterward, he said that the U.S. drove coalition led altogether more ISIS aggressors out of the beset city than it already asserted. In mid-October, Silo was one of the SDF's authorities who told the media that less than 300 ISIS contenders left Raqqa with their families while others would battle on. On Friday, Silo told Reuters, an understanding was gone after the psychological oppressors to leave, around 4,000 individuals, them and their families, including that everything except around 500 who fled were ISIS contenders. A month ago after a BBC News examination, a mystery ascension between the U.S. upheld SDF and ISIS was first uncovered. Despite the fact that the U.S. drove coalition denied any ascensions, recognizing that its accomplice had let escorts withdraw the city professedly on helpful grounds. Storehouse said his armed forces obstructed all go to Raqqa in October for three days to conceal the exit of thousands of ISIS warriors and several their family. Storehouse told Reuters it was all theater. He included, the declaration was a cover for the individuals who left for Deir Ezzer. 